What's up, LTD addicts? Dave Swift here with a quick tip. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect Amelia, the lifetime deal that's currently running on AppSumo for appointment booking with cart flows so that you can have upsells and downsells in your appointment booking process. Now, this is a request from a group member over on the Facebook group. This is Eric Earl's request. So I thought I'd make a quick video for you here and show you how to connect the two platforms. If you're not familiar with WP Amelia, this is a current lifetime deal on AppSumo and I made a full 45 minute tutorial to show you the ins and outs of the entire platform just yesterday. I'll make sure to link to that uh, in the cards somewhere here on YouTube. All right, let's go to the computer and check out how to connect up these two powerhouse platforms. All right, here we are in the back end of my WordPress installation. You're looking at the Amelia dashboard here. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is set up WooCommerce to be our payment platform for Amelia. If you don't already have WooCommerce installed, just go ahead and do that. It is free in the WordPress repository. Uh, I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna go down to settings here and choose payments. And that will allow me to set up WooCommerce as the default payment method like we have here. So just make sure that is checked. If you have it turned on, these other payment methods become inactive. So you will not be able to use WooCommerce and PayPal or WooCommerce and Stripe. And that is because WooCommerce supports both PayPal and Stripe. So it's a little bit redundant. And now let's go ahead and check out what this looks like just with this one step added here. So I've got the schedule appointment page up here. I'm gonna go ahead and book a guitar lesson. I'll choose, choose a random date here and a random time and go ahead and continue. So I've got a custom field I added in my video demonstration. Let me enter something there. Will it confirm? And now what happens is it takes me to the cart page where it asks me to proceed to the checkout. Now this is an extra step and I want to eradicate that because if I'm using cart flows, I really don't want to have this little step in between here. Now, the way that I'm going to solve this uh, is to go over into my WordPress dashboard, go to WooCommerce, choose settings and advanced. Now, right here, it says cart page and it's set to cart. Well, if I were to remove both of these pages uh, and I actually might have to save it at this step uh, because what happens is once a page is selected, it no longer is available. So for cart page, I'm actually just gonna redirect that right to the checkout page. All right, and then I'll hit save here. And you know what? This other one is gonna be blank and that's just fine. So now let's go through the checkout process one more time here. I'm gonna schedule my appointments, choose some random information again, and go ahead and continue. And we'll confirm this. And now you'll see that it goes right to that checkout page, which is exactly what we want. Now this is the default checkout page that comes with my theme. I'm using the Astro Pro theme. It actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this, but it doesn't allow me to offer upsells and downsells like Cartflow's Pro does. Uh, Cartflow's Pro will also give me the option to essentially add back in the cart page. Now, the benefit of the cart page is that I can change quantities right here. And with Cartflow's Pro, I am able to change quantities right on the checkout page. So that is those two reasons right there, the upsells and downsells, and the ability to modify your order once you're already on the checkout page are the reasons that I'd recommend going with the pro version of cart flows. All right, so let's go ahead and add cart flows to the equation here so we can get an even more beautiful or customized checkout uh, solution. So we'll go back into the settings and I'm just gonna go ahead and add that plugin. Actually, I already have it installed, but if you don't, just go to add new and search for it in the WordPress repository. Cart flows free is available. All right, I'll go ahead and activate this. I'll go over to cart flows, choose flows, add new, and then I really just need a checkout page here. So why don't we do this inline checkout? Uh, this probably isn't perfect, but let's go ahead and import this. All right, so you can see here, there's two steps to my flow here. I have a checkout page and then a thank you page that follows up. If I were using the professional version, I could add additional pages that have upsells and downsells to offer my customer some more uh, options to purchase. I'll go ahead and save this as Amelia and I'll hit update. Now you can see here it says no product assigned. That's all right, I'll go ahead and edit this. And I'm actually gonna choose uh, appointment as the name of the product. Now, when we set up Amelia to work with WooCommerce, 
it automatically creates this product inside of WooCommerce for you called appointment. So if you're thinking, I don't have that, well, yes, you do. Uh, you just didn't know that Amelia did it behind the scenes. And now there should be one more step that we have to take. We actually wanna set this flow right here up as our global checkout. So I'll go under settings and I will choose a global checkout and choose that checkout page that we just created right here. Let's save changes and let's go back and schedule another appointment. All right, so let's go ahead and choose a guitar lesson time. I'll pick an appointment out right here. Hit continue. And let's go ahead and confirm this. Now it should take me right to that checkout page. There we go. That is the Cartflow's checkout page. Now, obviously, this is not tailored to an appointment, uh, but there you go. You've got the custom checkout page. And if I were using the pro version, I could have bump offers on this page, followed up by upsells and downsells. Now, the one negative here is that you're not able to have that nice uh, add to your calendar reminder for people after they complete their checkout, because of course, they're not ever going to the Amelia thank, uh, thank you page. Um, so just note that. Uh, but other than that, man, it's a really great way to be able to add a little bit extra cart value on your checkout process. So you can let other people know about other services you offer that might go along well with your appointments. If this video has been helpful to you, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna drop the links for Cartflows Pro down in the description, as well as the Amelia deal that's running on AppSumo. Again, if you haven't checked out that full length tutorial of Amelia I put together, make sure you do that. I think it'll be really helpful to anyone who's just getting started using Amelia. And beyond that, head over to the Facebook group. Let's uh, have a discussion about some LTDs. I will also drop the link for the Facebook group in the description, and I will see you in the the next video.